Hello and welcome mm. to Extra Time. No more Mourinho talk. Well, there will be Mourinho talk, I imagine, in this part and maybe some parts to come in the future. But why do people, a lot of people, why do a lot of people hate when you talk about their team or their club or their manager? Like, but yet when you don't talk about them... They, right. no, they hate when you talk about them negatively. Yes. You're not All supposed right. to criticise. It doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter how poorly they do. Yep. You've got to say they're great. But and let's you face don't it, talk we have, the only reason we talk about teams normally is in a negative connotation. No, it's not. Yeah, because there's only so much positive That's your fault. Say, isn't it? As you set the I tone. lots of positive energy. You're, yes. a, ne you're a negative I'm, I'm, person. I'm, I'm, what are you, you pointing at? Don't, you, get, don't get your I finger like out. I like being positive, but unfortunately it's, we live in the real world and you can't be all the time. No, you can't be positive but all the time. It's, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't talk about them, they get annoyed. And if you do talk about them, they get annoyed. But people don't understand. It's Manchester United win, lose or draw, no matter who manages them, it's, it's a, they're a big deal. I mean, it's like they're not going to go away, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, so we're going to be talking about you again. Why not Eddie Howe for Manchester United can build a team, play attacking football and a positive attitude? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I'll be honest, I think there's some building blocks before it, or if it ever comes about, but I think for him, if he does leave Bournemouth, the next step is somewhere so like between. he would go to Spurs for example if Pochettino went to United would that, that be the progression you know, that you would most, see that's, of all the things you've said over the years that's not the most ridiculous thing wow. I've ever said. A, so yeah that's where I'm, Spurs fans might go well we're not you know we're aiming bigger than that I don't know but but yeah I mean there's an argument for some of these younger guys who have cut their teeth at smaller clubs and have done particularly well to get bigger jobs there is that there is an argument for that I don't think uh, I think that's quite a long way off, though, for Eddie Howe. I think it'll be a stepping stone. Hey, Shaka. Yeah. What's your opinion on the job Manuel Pellegrini is doing at West Ham? I'm very impressed. After a poor start to the season, where things were looking really poorly, no, West Ham are looking all right. They're, what, eighth right now? Two points behind Manchester United? Oh, After a bad start. Your team. Mm. He's a good manager. He's a very good manager. Real Madrid, Villarreal, he did well with a small West Ham. Club. Uh, Man City, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very good manager. As is Rafa Benitez, I was saying the other day, mm. he's other old club. Two guys that really should be working with a better budget than what they are for their talent levels. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Something a producer said in my Are you going to, listen, they what's, my, listen my, my people laugh. may have noticed that you have, uh, during the recent shows, you're taking a lot of coughing fits. I didn't cough once in the last yes, show. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, it wasn't a fit. When was Julian a... was talking, you <laughs> went for the old... It wasn't, uh, wasn't a fit. It wasn't a fit. It was just, you know what's coming, because he's like... Ah. Yeah. And then when, when we go to the uh, when we go to the remote, he's like... Ah. <laughs> I have a little tickle. What am I supposed to do? I've is got it, a cough. I mean, is it nerves? It's nerves. It's definitely <laughs> I mean, nerves. You've done a few shows, lad, is it I know, no, it's... I'm not... I mean, we can, not we can replace best. you if you're not... I mean, no, I've had some issues recently. Oh, yeah, I know that. Seb doesn't cough. No, that's true. That's very true. Maybe Seb should come in. Adrian doesn't cough, but even if he did, he wouldn't know he was coughing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. I'm off the show because of the cough. Uh, Gab is here, everyone. Gab's still here. Hey, Gab. Gab! Can you say Edward Woodward five times quickly? <laughs> <laughs> Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward, I cannot. Oh. It, is, it is beyond my skill set. Um, Craig? Edward Woodward, I can't. Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward. Oh, Shaq? Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward. Shaq, you're really good at it. Yes, so that's, okay. I've been working on that all week. That's the best thing you've ever done on the show. Thank you very you much. What, that's worth a contract. I'll be, going to see, I'll be going to see the boss right after this. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there while the going's good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see extra time? Just go in there, just say Edward Woodward all the time. Da, bang your face, Edward Woodward. Edward Woodward, Edward Woodward. And if he don't give you a new contract, I'll be shocked. Uh, Gab, how much should Edward Woodward take the blame for what's been going on? We just call him Ed Woodward. <laughs> Please. Um, look, I. There's one thing that really bugs me in this, right? Oh, when dear. people look at this and say, oh, look, Manchester United, it's shambolic. Everyone's to blame. The players are to blame. Woodward's are to blame. Uh, Avram and Joel Glazer are to blame. Albert's to blame. Mourinho's to blame. No. Everybody that has responsibility may be to blame to some degree, but there are certain people who are more responsible than others. And obviously, Mourinho was the most responsible because he had the most responsibility. I think 
where, where you would point a finger at Ed Woodward is that he's been in charge now for, for six years on the footballing side as well. And I think there are, you can question his appointments. Certainly Van Hal comes into it. Certainly Mourinho. Um, beyond that, we get Mourinho's version of events. Oh, why didn't you sign Alderweireld? And then United indirectly filter out Woodward's version of events. And by the way, uh, as somebody who works in, in newspapers, I can tell you that in the next week, we're going to get a whole slew of horror stories and how bad Mourinho did this and bad Mourinho did that and Mourinho this and Mourinho that. All this negativity to help justify the decision. But for me, um, other than some big picture stuff, like not appointing a director of football uh, when he appointed Mourinho, um, I don't know, and, and overpaying for players, which you can put down to perhaps wanting to please big names like Van Hal or Mourinho himself, uh, which I think he undoubtedly did with, with many of these guys. Uh, I think those are the main charges that you would put at his door, and you hope that he's on some kind of learning curve. Wonder what the players' Christmas party is going to be like. Well, better than it would be, yes. If it's fancy dress, you think they're all going to go out as Mourinho? That'd be a, that'd be a final nail in the coffin, wouldn't it? Why are you dressed up as Mourinho? Just to take them. Well, they're all they're clearly most of, as Pogba did today. There's not a lot of respect there. There's really no point. Can you do it ten times, Shaggy? Sorry. Yep. Oh. Go. What are you apologising for, Dan? What? What's wrong? Hey? What's happened? Sorry. As on this Pogba Instagram thing, yes, um, it was a scheduled post that his sponsor did. If you believe Pogba sat there, like posing for a selfie or, or flipping through pictures of himself on his phone, and said, "Ha ha, Mourinho's been sacked. Let me go and put this out there and put my sponsor's name on it as well," um, that's not what happened. Julian suggested that, that, it, that it was uh, it was planned that he meant to do it. But it wasn't a coincidence. Okay, well, I'm, maybe Jules has spoken to Pogba, but Pogba's people and I believe his sponsors say otherwise. Oh, they would. As do United. Oh, they would. And they would. And they all would. Ed Wood would. I would just be as like, Wood as well. What, <laughs> what I would say is it would be out of character for Pogba to do something like this. He's had issues before and he hasn't gone and reacted in this way. Um, you know, that, that, that's all I'm going to say. I mean, between that and the denial, for me at least, I'm satisfied that it wasn't his version of, of rubbing it in. Go on, go on, Shane. Well, do it. No, oh, it's go on. a new contract for us. No, go on, go on, go on. Just as no. we say goodbye. I like no. when you do it. No. Go on. No. Could, your money could double. Could it? It's saying Edward. Mm. <laughs> Good point. Uh, that is it. Are you back tomorrow, Shane? Well, that's very low. No. Back well, on uh, Thursday. Well, good. You get tomorrow. You can work on your Red Woodwards. He doesn't Wood need to. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's ma it's majestic. Right. This is impressive. When I send that new contract, I'll let you know and I'll do 10. Uh, you're here tomorrow, aren't you, Craig? Raph Onyx sign here as well to reflect yep. on Borussia Dortmund. Is it, it was their first defeat, I think, of the domestic season. I'm going to go with that. Uh, yeah, okay. Plus, it's North London derby. Oh, okay. All right.